Hello and welcome to day nine of the Mindfulness Challenge. I hope um, you're okay and hope you're feeling well. Um, it's Saturday now, I just want to remind you of the days if you're doing this sequential real time. Um, and it's the weekend and I know it's difficult um, because of all the things that are going on around us at the moment. I'm in 14 days of isolation on top of the three weeks of isolation because as you know our family have had um, a virus. I'm actually feeling a lot better. I just took my wife a cup of coffee in bed. She's feeling a lot better. My daughter and son-in-law are feeling a lot better. Um, and I had some moments with my family and friends last night on on, on video chat. So that made us all feel a little bit better. Um, and and it's tough. It's really it's really tough at the moment. And, you know, I went on to, we've got a community, the LH community, the Light and Harmony community. And we, we dropped onto Zoom last night. And there was, you know, half a dozen, dozen people in the room. And everyone's feeling it. Everyone's really feeling it, but we're together. And and I think there's a lot of positives we can take out of this. Today, day eight, we're gonna do a loving kindness meditation because that's something that will be our cornerstone of our everyday practice. We'll also do that one, which we'll do at the end. Um, but today I wanna to talk about gratitude. Um, and gratitude and about being grateful, okay? Now for me, you see, gratitude and being grateful, some of the keys, um, to unlocking happiness, okay? And we all know that, um, you know, not so much now because we're we're in a unprecedented situation. This is um, completely abnormal, it's not usual, but in the general running of our day-to-day -day, when we're on our treadmill, um, we sort of, we forget about all of the things that happen around us that we should be grateful for. We forget all of the things, little things that people do for us, the little things that happen, you know, and 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 it's really it's really interesting now that we can sit back and reflect a little bit. We have this time of reflection that we can really start to see the little things that we need to be grateful for. And the question is, before all of this kicked off, really, was do we actually feel our lives? Do we feel our lives? Do we feel alive, and do we feel our lives? Do we, or do we just exist? to be born, to go to school, to grow up, to meet somebody, to have a baby, you know, to go to work, to retire, to die. That whole expanse of life. And how many times do we actually just stop and check and be mindful and live in this mindful way? And how do we do that with gratitude? Even you know, on some of the worst things that happens in our in, in our lives. Can we sit and reflect? And as an emotion, we said, you know, <clears throat> um, our thoughts are true, but they're not real. And our emotions, you know, they don't own us. We own them, all of these things. But can we sometimes sit in reflection and, and be grateful for the things that have happened to us in our lives? Be grateful some of the bad things have happened in our lives, that they've given us life learning lessons that we are better for it, our values are stronger, we understand our process and values more. And what I'd like you to do at the end of today is actually sit down and reflect on everything that you should be grateful for. Everything. And as your day's going on, if you want to sit after this and reflect, you can. Reflect on what happened yesterday. Reflect what's going to, you know, later on reflect on what's happened today. And find the little things that pop up that make you feel grateful. Not think grateful, feel grateful. You can feel the gratitude for those things that have made your day. And what I'd also suggest is take a picture. So if you've got something going on today and you think, oh yeah, and you sat there and think that was really nice, take a picture of it. Take a picture of things that make you grateful. Keep a diary for the next seven days about all the images that you have that have made you feel grateful. It gives us things really to think about. We need to think about the things that affect us, but we can take delight in. And, and nothing is all bad. Nothing is, nothing is all good and nothing is all bad. But we can take things out of it. One of the big things that affects us with gratitude and being grateful are our expectations on life. Our expectations in relationships, maybe I think that, you know, my wife's not romantic. She doesn't show me enough care, love and attention. And that's me projecting my expectation on my wife. 
the fact that every single day she, you know, she looks after me and, you know, she takes care of me and she asks how I am and she'll bring me a sandwich in and all of these things. She does, she does take care of me and I have so much to be grateful for. She does hold my hand. She does give me a cutch. She does give me a kiss. But I want more because my expectation is, yeah, I want more. No, right, you know, think about your expectations and expectations of yourself. We hurt ourselves through our unrealistic reality of our own individual expectations. We expect ourselves to always be better than we are before. But let's just reflect on ourselves and, uh, and appreciate some of the things that we do. Appreciate some of the things that we do. I'm, I'm sat here now and thinking, right, stop, you. Last night, I went into a room with a dozen, tw 12 people and the amount of gratitude and love that I had for what I do to try and help others to help themselves was phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I should be really grateful for that. And I am. Because I feel that gratitude. And I want you to sit there and think about what's happened in your day bit by bit. And the very small things, the very small things that we've done for others and what others have done for us. And show that real appreciation and gratitude about it. Think about what we, um, how we really interact with everything in our day, everything around us, nature. You know, I went to make a cup of coffee just now, and we got this really posh coffee machine, and I just press flat white, and it makes a flat white. And and I never really appreciated it until I just went because I've been writing this out to this morning about gratitude and appreciation and being grateful. And I really appreciate that coffee machine now. It makes the perfect cup of coffee every time. It's instant. It's bang, bang, bang. I, and I really appreciate it. I'm going to take a picture of it and I'll, I'll, it'll be one of my things that I'm really grateful for today. But we need to reevaluate our, rela our relationship with ourselves and our relationship with others and drop the expectations and be grateful for everything that we've got. You know, my knee's in a really bad way and I feel like rubbish. I feel better. But I'm grateful that my heart is still beating and my lungs are still breathing. I'm grateful for the fact I can go upstairs and kiss my daughter. I'm grateful I can give my dog a hug. I can't walk him, but I can give him my dog a hug. You know, I can sit here and think, oh, I can't go out, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't do that. Or I can sit here and think, I can read a book, I can learn this, I can spend some time with my daughter, help her with her work. I, you know, we've got a big giant jigsaw puzzle on the table. Let's do some of that. Let's, let's, I've watched more films in the last seven days than I have in the in 40 years of my life, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm grateful. Although I'm really, you know, I've been scared. I've been really scared. And I realise now that, you know, as we all do, but it's come home, is that, you know, life's fragile. But I want us to think about even the mundane tasks or issues we have around us. Feel truly privileged to be able to have the gift to do the washing up. Because some people today are going through it like never, you never know. The doctors, all of the doctors, the nurses, the NHS, the paramedics, all of these people are going into work today to save others and to put their own lives at risk. I am so grateful to them and I appreciate them. And when I can get out of this um, isolation, I promise you I'm going to do as much as I can for those people who have served, you know, absolutely thanklessly, amazingly, well, I'm going to do something for them. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to try as best I can to help them as I can. You know, so think about even the mundane tasks we should appreciate. Spend moment in that moment doing the things we need to do. As I said, we've now found that, you know, how fragile things are and, and how we need to appreciate the things we have. Um, in general, you know, I've said this for years, we only generally appreciate things just before we've had it or just after we've lost it. And, you know, the next coming days are going to be difficult. They are going to be difficult. There's no point dressing this up in any other way. But we need to pick ourselves up. We need to keep going. Um, we, we may feel lonely. We may feel lost. We may feel scared. But we need to keep the understanding that we need to look at what we have and what we've gained during this period. These moments, as I said, are difficult. But we have so much to learn during this time. We can learn more now than we must have learned in... In many, many years, let's take the small things and, and let's really look at them. Don't take things for granted anymore. Each day, we must count our blessings, however big or however small. 
And why not today, as I said earlier, take some pictures of the blessings you have around you. So at the end of the today, think about all the amazing things that we can treasure amongst our moments. And some of those moments are difficult times. But let's appreciate everything that is happening and understand if we can look and see the light, if we can look and see true happiness within, that we can really, really start to appreciate and show gratitude in our lives. We learn, one thing that we learn is, is the gratitude and happiness is inside us. It's not external, it's inside us, it's how we see it. We can truly honour the life we live. So start looking at everything in a grateful way. Start looking at everything to appreciate it for today. Take some pictures of everything that's made you feel grateful or shown signs of gratitude and put them in the comment section or send them, you know, come on to um, the Julian Jenkins um, f a Facebook group or, or my website and just post them and just, you know, let's have a hashtag, I'm grateful and, and let's do something for it. So, you know, I'm really grateful for the fact that you're watching this and I'm really grateful I have the ability to be able to do this. And, you know, it is difficult. But keep dusting yourself up. Keep going on and be grateful for everything that we have in front of us and take some pictures. Here's the loving kindness meditation. I'll be back after. Take care, bye-bye. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm gonna put a nice image up. But I'm going to sound a bell for us to start. And all I want you to do now is focus on your breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And just focus on where your breath is. Where do you feel it most? Is it through your nostrils? Is it on your t-shirt? Is it on your jumper? Where do you feel? Do you feel your, your belly moving in and out? Breathing in and breathing out. And to start this, we're going to offer loving kindness to ourselves. And I want you to focus on the intention of these words. And I want you to continually repeat these words. And if you have a thought that comes in, you welcome it, you love it, you let it go and you come back to the mantra. So as we're breathing in, I want you to say these words. Breathing in, may I be safe. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be healthy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I live with ease. Breathing out. Repeat the mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Continue that mantra as you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And if you have any thoughts that come in, you welcome them, you love them, you let them go, and you come back to your mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Breathing in. And breathing out. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Welcome this beautiful love into your life. To be kind to yourself. To connect in with yourself. To love yourself. To heal yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Now what I'd like you to do is just, with your eyes closed, choose someone in your life that you love or someone that inspires you, someone you think about, who you're grateful for. And I want you to picture that person in your mind. And on this occasion, as you're breathing in, you say simply, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. 
This is loving kindness for somebody else who is someone you love, someone inspires you, put them in your mind, see them and set the intention of may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And don't forget, if you have a thought, just let it welcome in. Hold it. Don't put any judgment on it. Accept it, acknowledge it, let it go. And come back to your mantra for this person that you love. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. Now the focus, we're gonna focus on someone you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, maybe someone who's ill. And we're going to offer them kindness. So if there's somebody you know who is in self-isolation or isn't feeling very well at the moment, I want you to place their, your intention in your mind, with them in your mind. And you say again, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. This is somebody who you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, who may be ill. Set the intention of that person, put them in your mind's eye. And as you do, you say to yourself, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And if you find your attention or your mind wanders, don't worry. Just love it, let it go and return back to your phrases, your mantra. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. These mantras are now your anchor. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And what I'd like you to do is choose someone in your life that you might have difficulty with or have some tension with or have had an issue with or something hasn't sat right between the both of you for a little bit of time. This one can be difficult, but we set the attention and we put them in our mind's eye and we say to them in our mantra, breathing in and breathing out, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And again, if something, a thought comes in, I want you to allow it in, accept it, acknowledge it, put no judgment, love it and let it go. And come back to your anchor, your mantra. For the person who you may have had difficulty with, have had an argument with, there's some tension between you. Set the attention, put them in your mind's eye and say, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy and may you live with ease. And if at any point you find that difficult, then you can just direct it back to yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now I'd like you at this moment to direct your loving kindness, your attention and your intention to all forms of life, people, animals, all beings, those people who need it most all over the world at this very difficult time. And I want you to say for them, may all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease.
breathing in and breathing out. And again, if you have any thoughts, you let them in, you let them go, and off you go. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be live with ease. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Take a deep breath in and as you do, I just want you to slowly just recenter yourself on the chair and get your sense of awareness and feel your twiggle your fingers or, or move your toes and come back into the room and open your eyes. Good morning again. Good afternoon. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it is really important for us now that we take all of the things, the positives we can out of everything that's happening around us and be grateful for small mercies, all the little things. And just remember over the coming days, things will may get difficult, they may get easier, but just remember that let's look out for those things that can really make us blessed. And, you know, if you can go out the garden and take some pictures of some beautiful nature, sit with it. I was laying in bed this morning, just listening to the birds. And I thought to myself, I have so much to be grateful for. So much to be grateful for. And I'm going to do something on gratitude. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't, don't forget, good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. So be grateful. Take pictures. Stay safe. Um, sending healing, love and energy to all of you. Thank you for all of the amazing support that I've received over the last seven days. And let's just keep going. And, um, you know, we are going to get through this. I promise you. We will get through it. And this world will be a much more conducive place to people like us than it was before we came in. So again, pray for minimum amount of losses and maximum amount of impact. God bless you. Be love and give love. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.